So, I had tried setting the body on here and throwing soap back and forth, and that's why you see the blue lines everywhere. But all that ended up doing was puddling, going into the cracks, places I didn't want it to go. So we're going to try something else. I've already rewashed out the body. We will be using a PS6 Tamaya color, solid yellow. So these have been sitting on the shelf, right side up. So I'm going to let them sit a minute upside down and then we're going to start shaking them. We'll be right back. So here's the wheel well sample pieces. I'm going to try something on first. Right, so I'm going to take a screwdriver and poke a little hole right in the center so that it looks like that. And this is made by Spastic. Kind of thin. You can hear how watery it is. So I'm going to try from a little higher up. Don't like either of those effects. <laughs> this one seems a little thicker. Gonna try this. Huh. So I have a couple of paint brushes here. I don't know. I think the polka dot look might be better, but on this body, it's probably going to run. So I might have to try. Making the body level. And then do the hood area first and then work my way down. I 
they said to add thinner, but this stuff is pretty thin. Okay, so I'm going to try polka dots. That one's going to run. Which I don't like. I'm going to let that dry a little bit and then we're going to add some different colors.
Let's see. Let's get this stuff dry. So, I am going to do that throughout the whole body. I have to do it on a level surface. If not, it'll run. So I'm going to keep doing that, and then I'll show you guys the final results of the polka dots. All right, so here's where we're at. What I have to do is I'm six hours into this now. So I have to do this on a flat spot. So I can only do a small section at a time because if I turn it or it's at an angle, the circles start to run, and I can't have that. So, in order for me to keep them circles, this is what I have to do. I, I dot it, that kind of stuff. I hit it with the dryer. And you don't want to apply too much heat because then it'll bubble the paint and you don't want that either. So you just kind of want to expedite that and then what I do is after an hour I come back I hit it with a little bit more heat and then I can flip it this was the second time for that side and I'll flip it and then I'll do this flat spot so I'll do this on camera as well um, this is a painstaking process but I think it'll be worth it in the end so what I do because they've been sitting an hour and also another thing I did for four hours, I left the lids off of this thing to try to thicken the paint a little bit. Because this stuff uh, by Spastics is a little too thin. So here is the solid blue that we're doing. And there is a part number right above that. Hopefully I can catch that. Here is the red I'm doing. It's a solid red. The number is right up there. And then here is the pink. This is called hot pink. The number's right above it. So, I tend to start out with the pink first. The blue seems to be the one that runs more than the other two colors. I don't know why that is. So, I'll just kind of dot this thing around like that. And see how they stay in a circle? Then I'm going to hit it with some red. Like that. That one sucks because it is on a downward slope. So that's going to run a little bit. But nothing I can do. And blue is the one we have to be careful with because this one runs really bad. Oh, it's the first time I hit a dot on a dot. It's kind of unique. This blue is really, really thin. So you got to be careful with this blue. I like the blue, but uh, it's definitely way thinner than the other two. And that's going to be a unique circle with a small dot of blue over there. And I have been getting these little splashes everywhere, which is fine. Just adds character. So that's the process that I'm doing, just so you guys know. And this does take some time. So be patient. And I'm going to hit it with some high heat from a good distance away just so I'm not blowing the paint okay I can see the pink starting to bubble up a little bit so we're gonna stop there and we're gonna go ahead and give this another hour we'll be back
and there we go I try to lay the fenders really thick and uh, we're gonna let this dry and then back it in silver we'll be right back all right so here you go went ahead and backed it in silver and peeled the windows and this is what we ended up with pretty cool looking just a little clowning around you can see when it gets into a crack you'll get a run so the drip was there and then it ran down this arch same thing here but overall only a couple of spots you can see that one did okay that pink and then you can see the little splatters from the drip drops in the paint as well close up and then this is already cured overnight I peeled the windows while it was wet and I backed it in silver It's a solid color, so I didn't do silver metal flake because it wouldn't show through. Just trying to get something really bright that I can see on the black road. And I think we accomplished that. So, really came out looking like a clown. And I will insert some photos of some clown pictures that I was going after when I decided I originally was going to do a splattered line, but then realized that the paint was just too thin and wouldn't work. So I decided to go with this clown polka dotted theme. And I think it looks pretty good. It definitely will be bright. I will be able to see it down the road. So I still have to paint the wing. The wing will be one solid color. And it's probably going to be a bright red or a pink just to finish off the clown look. You gotta do the Ronald McDonald car look. And we will be putting uh, decals on this, so it should come out a lot better. But there you go, guys. This is just the body painting video. More to come. I do have some drive shafts that I went ahead and installed. These are the Ross carbon fiber drive shafts. Then I went ahead and installed. Wait until you see all the work it took grinding, trying to get that installed. They don't just slip in with the braces. As he said, you have to trim the brackets. But when you flip that motor mount, there's an issue when it comes to trimming the brackets. which I will show in the next episode. 
So, perfect pass drive shafts, especially that front one on a flip motor mount, does not work like you would imagine. But there you go, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.